Hello, welcome back to another Impartial Theorists. Trying our best to keep up with uh, the uh, madness that our world is these days. We've got our latest on the whole Manafort and Cohen stuff. Yeah, I'm yeah. mostly talking about Manafort this week, but um, Trump tweeting about Puerto Rico and then also the storms coming in north end of the Carolinas, which uh, have been downgraded at this point, but still some yeah. major damage. There's gonna be more damage. It's more about the water than anything. It's not really about the wind or the storm, so it's just the water. It's gonna fuck up a lot of shit. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, let's talk about Manafort. Yeah. Friday, Manafort pled, Manafort pled guilty and has decided to cooperate with Mueller in the investigation against Trump. And that's led to widespread speculation on what it could be. Okay, so basically Manafort agreed to a deal, to a plea deal that specifically says that he's required to cooperate fully truthfully, completely, and forthrightly with the government. So, basically, and he has to answer all questions. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's basically gonna be a limitless probe, I guess, if you will, for Mueller. Um, and I guess Mueller's been working really hard on getting Manafort, knowing that he would be a key person in this whole investigation. And I mean, it almost centers around Manafort as much as it does. Because, I mean, Manafort was, like, the the guy that Trump had for his Russian connection, you know? Like. Yeah, and he was campaign manager for a minute. So, yeah. But, anyway, people are speculating on what um, Mueller would have asked Manafort, and they would, the top thing is the Trump Tower meeting in 2016, the one where um, Manafort and a group of Trump campaign officials were in a room with the lawyer from Moscow named Natalia. She's a key component of that because basically she was the connect for Russia in that in that meeting. Yeah, and that meeting was basically just to bring to bring down Hillary Clinton. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. the first thing we found out about. I don't know, this could be like the final blow, I guess, in the and I mean it, it, no. You don't think for the investigation? It's gonna take, like, like they gotta be able to, to say without, uh, like, benef without a question of doubt that Trump did some shit. It needs to be big enough to pin him and make him, and indict him and make him, like, resign. Like what um, fucking Nixon did. There's a couple things to add to it is that uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, in her one comment, said that the. Uh, plea deal had nothing to do with the campaign it was totally unrelated and then also I guess declined to comment on the possibility of a pardon but yeah that's that's the last last trick up if the yeah but if Manafort Manafort has a choice either not um, not cooperate which he's already agreed to do and maybe get a pardon or cooperate and get a lesser and get a lesser sentence. So he has to take his pick. But if he if he doesn't cooperate and Trump still gets brought down and he isn't able to pardon him in time, he's fucked. Yeah. He's probably gonna just snitch. He's got to. He has no fucking choice. But anyway, let's move on to some shit that Trump has been using to deflect on the minor four shit. Yeah, well I think this all started in a yeah, just like a, I don't know, press appearance, just talking about the hurricanes, he's asking, answering, basically talking about Florence, and then he, someone... He was fishing. He was fishing for, like, something to stick, and then distract, and he got that in the Puerto Rico show. Well, yeah, and so he just kind of casually tossed out there that, like, oh, yeah, you know, Puerto Rico. Yeah. Um... Well, he said it in a tweet too, and I'm not sure actually which came first. I think he made the comment first, and he like yeah, backed he, it up with some tweets. Yeah, he made the comment at a press like uh, event thing. Every all his events look like rallies. I don't even fucking know what it was, but basically he, he tweeted three thousand people did not die in two hurricanes that hit Puerto Rico. When I left the island after the storm hit, they had anywhere from six to eighteen deaths. 
as time went by, it did not go up by much. Then much, then a longer, then a long time later, they started to report really large numbers, like three thousand. And then his famous multi, <laughs> extra long ellipses. Dot 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 dot. New tweet. Dot 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 dot. Um, but just right there, like let's pause. This does go on, but like. As time went by, it did not go up by much. It's like, yeah, because this report is about calculating like the long-term effects of living on the island with mass areas without power, without access to like hospitals or medical care that they need. So yeah, it was fewer deaths at first and then went over time. It's just like, that should be fucking obvious. And, yeah, but, but he, in his mind, this he says that this, I'm not gonna read the whole second tweet, but he says this was done by the Democrats in order to make him look bad as possible. But, like, nah. I mean, it was a category four storm. It's like, okay, politics are pretty shitty and probably like worse than most people wanna believe, but could Democrats even pull that off? Like, I doubt it. Like, fucking WikiLeaks would have, like, leaked some shit on that by now. Is that... Democrats aren't that organized. They, they can't do that. And to just fake a fucking death toll of a hurricane? I, I just and, don't think... It, yeah. Like, that's, like, high-level conspiracy. It that's, would, like, believing, it like, flat earth too long. Shit. You forget that they're bureaucrats. And bureaucrats take forever with everything. That's kind of their thing. Yeah. They have to do committees and shit to agree on every little fucking thing. You really think they can pull this shit off? Well, yeah, and so the Democrats, like, they just got together after Hurricane. They're like, yo, yo, this is going to make Trump look so bad. We're going to we're gonna say that so many people died. It's going to be awesome. And then no one even brought it up except for Trump. And, um, and why would George Washington University was the university that did the study? And why would they be in cahoots with the Democrats to do that? Yeah, that's just what's so shocking about it is like Trump used to get his crazy ideas from like Alex Jones or no, this one some pundit on Fox News or something, but now it's just like he's just making them up himself. Like he yeah. just has become the next. I mean, he he already was, I guess, like the conspiracy president, conspiracy theory president, but now he's just like the conspiracy theory. I don't know. He just makes shit like up. hope or something. Yeah. But he also said that Puerto Rico was an incredible unsung success, which has been debunked by so many countless like entities that it's not even worth. So, <coughs> um, but basically, everybody is debunking what he said, and people keep referring to him going to Puerto Rico to throw toilet paper at people <laughs> as what he's referring to as a success. If it is shit, that video has been. Watch so many fucking times that he's he actually tweeted angry about it. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. Shit. Well, <laughs> ah, that's just funny. Like yeah. it's so funny the things that get to him that like get under his skin. Cause it's like the shit that doesn't bother him is amazing, but then the shit that does, it's like what the hell. <laughs> <coughs> but I mean, the, it does look pretty bad, and I guess maybe. I don't know, maybe like Melania said something and that was, that was the line. He's like, oh man, I do look really bad. He looks like a dumbass. He's tossing toilet paper at people. <laughs> Go wipe up your flooded house. Like what the fuck is toilet paper gonna do in all reality? It's, there was a flood. Yeah. If, if that toilet paper touches the floor or anything around it, it's fucked. Like, it's literally the, some of the most useless shit that you could have at that moment. Yeah, and I mean, not to say I'm sure the federal government did stuff for people, but it's just like, yeah. I remember during those times how much I was hearing um, about the discrepancies of what was the, the recovery in Texas and Florida versus Puerto Rico. And yeah, but that's, that's kind of expected because Puerto Rico is a fucking island. Yeah, and that's just what I was going to say. It's like, and that's something Trump pointed out. And like, yeah taken into account but still and they also didn't have power for so long yeah but i mean there was always like from the beginning remember he like had that little beef with the mayor of san juan yeah, and like he still does yeah yeah i mean he continued to go after or started up going after her again yeah. and now the governor is in on this shit too 
But anyway, this is this all happening whilst there was uh, something that was in that people thought was going to be a hurricane category four. But yeah, that's why the whole thing came up because yeah, yeah. everybody's talking about this. Well, um, it ended up being just a tropical storm. The further it got inland, but it started out as category four, and Trump has an opportunity to handle this shit right. Like, if if he wants to to keep up with his Puerto Rico shit, the Puerto Rico people are lying shit. He has to play this shit just right, and he just declared a state of not state of emergency, disaster shit. I forget what it's called. Like a federal disaster or whatever. Like, yeah. Like federally recognized. Something else just notable about the uh, Puerto Rico statements is just how many Republicans yeah, they all came they out and said, no, they don't. Paul Ryan. Um, I mean, yeah, you had the governor of Florida. I had multiple other ones. Yeah, but a lot of people. No one no one backed him up as far as I'm aware. And that's the thing, this too. This is I mean, stupid. I mean, we, we, Alex Jones isn't around so much anymore, but I even yeah, wonder He probably if he, said <laughs> some shit. Alex Jones, yeah. Well, well he probably thinks it's just all yeah. fake. He thinks that... You add another layer of crazy Maria was so a hard. false flag. It, it How all the fuck just did you false, <laughs> falsify a hurricane? I don't fucking... Dude, know. it's Alex yeah. Jones. Well, anyway, he did... Trump, Trump has declared North Carolina a ma- major disaster. I don't know if that's the official term. It's in quotes, so he said that shit. That doesn't sound like the official Yeah, term. I don't... No, not that one. Oh, yeah, of the epic amount of rainfall. Yeah, that's the Trump word. Fucks. Journalism looks so dumb when they have to quote him. But five people have already died, and the rivers and the flooding is expected to rise, especially when the storm surge finally hits. So shit is going to get worse. The flooding is going to be immense, and they just got to play this shit right. And you know Trump is gonna put aside it, so we'll be back next week with some shit that he said about this. Yeah, but. yeah, and I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's like so far a million people without power, and I'm sure like millions and millions of dollars of damage yeah. just to homes and businesses and but all sorts. The of hotel things. industry is booming right now because of this. Yeah. Every hotel in that area is that's not flooded is booked. Well, I mean, I guess that, yeah, that, that's one silver lining for the shareholders of Baymont, the Holiday Inn. <laughs> yeah. But, um... Shit, but they gotta use that to pay for your other shit that will get fucked up. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, so I guess if this is all, like, this will probably get FEMA assistance, but that's like a whole thing that takes years. Yeah, if they do it right, that's... In my... Right now, I don't even know what the fuck would happen because the government isn't full. It isn't running well. It's kind of just limping. So hopefully some shit can actually benefit these people. Hopefully they actually get assistance and they don't get fucked out of it. Because I can see a headline in the near future saying that they got fucked out of all this money and I I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, it's starting to just seem more and more like living on a, in a coastal city is just a gamble every year. Yeah. I mean, if you're if you're a property owner and like attached to the area, if you're if you're just renting and can get the fuck out of there, then maybe that's a different story. But it's like, man, make me rethink. Also, just build out a concrete if you live in a fucking tropical area. Yeah. People have been doing that for years. You see fucking like you see bungalows here, yeah, but bungalows are low. They're not necessarily prone to get them blown off. Shit. I think that's the end of our show. Yeah. All right. Well, sounds good. Got a short little update for you this week, and we'll uh, be back next week. Yeah. Peace. Sorry.